Hey guys, what's up? My name is Steven. I am the creator of Show It Better. And in today's video, I want to show you guys how to create this section, uh, this animated section using SketchUp and After Effects. So for SketchUp, Photoshop and After Effects. So let's start. All right. First of all, I want to thank you guys for watching. I know that I have been a little bit absent for a while. I have been very, very occupied investing a little bit more time in my Instagram page. For those of you that don't know, I'm posting a lot of stuff on Instagram and creating a new course for you guys, which I will talk to you guys about maybe in some other video. But in this video, I wanted to teach you guys something that I uh, had published in Instagram, but I thought it was very interesting to talk about it here because it's a very in-depth subject that I think you guys would be very interested in because it's about sections, about illustrating, but it's also about animation. So what we're basically going to do is we're going to export a section from SketchUp. We're going to import it into Photoshop. We're going to add some text, add some people, ambient, and then we're going to import it into After Effects and then animate it. All right. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, let's start. All right. So this is the project. I already made like a ton of videos, I think, in the past uh, of this project. I think it's a cool project. It's a cool project. But the, what I like the most, it's the campus. It's the majority of things that the, the images and proposals that you can do with this. What you guys want to do here is click on control one. And that is going to switch between perspective and orthographic mode in SketchUp. And after you guys do that and you have it in orthographic mode, you're going to decide a section, right? So you can go, go over here, click on the section tool and select the place where you want the section. Now, I think when we were creating sections, we have to show the most interesting part of the building, the place where the building speaks almost for itself. So in some places with the section, we can understand like the whole building and that's what you want. You want the people that are seeing the section to understand the whole building. And since this is a programmatic section, we wanted to cut across the places where the most variety of program is seen in that section. So if you just cut uh, through that building and you almost can't see anything if you cut to the building and it's you know the same program then, then it's not going to be as interesting if you're just going to see maybe it's a library but it's also a media space maybe it's also a restaurant etc etc after you do this i already have my section right here you want i just want to look at it one last time to see how it looks in the section that's what I, that's why we put it in orthographic mode so we can see how it will look and I can see that, you know, I'm cutting various parts, very interesting parts from the building. Uh, as you guys can see, this is a building that you can uh, access the main floors by going down a little bit. You can see that in this section. You can also see some very interesting voids and you can also see how the overall roof gently slopes and, you know, from the grass just goes up. So it's a, it's a kind of a green roof where you can inhabit. After you have this section, you can go to file and export and select section slice and you save it your section slice it's going to save it as an autocad and it's only going to save the parts where the building cut through right so if you have if you have something in the background uh, windows trees people that is not going to appear so you have to take that into account as soon as you have this uh, you want to open it in AutoCAD, have it open in AutoCAD over here. I cleaned it up a little bit. It wasn't like this uh, clean, clean, clean section, but I erased some lines which weren't going to be as useful uh, for me. And we're going to import our section into Photoshop. This is my PDF. So you want to export it from AutoCAD as a PDF file. I'm going to drag this PDF into Photoshop. You can drag it into an already made uh, Photoshop file or you can drag it into a new file. As you guys can see, this is the section and I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. And that is about it. That's the end of the tutorial. Just kidding. But what I want to do is uh, start to color it black. I want to color everything black. I don't want a, a section with a lot of colors, a section with a lot of elements. No, I just want it to be black and white. So I want to color the terrain black. So I'm going to go press G and as you guys can see, there is, you know, I call it all black. So let me just press Control Z. And there is this space right here. I have to close it. So let me just press the B brush for to close it. And then let's try it again. That's right. And now I'm just going to quickly paint on all of these slabs. So what I want to tell you guys while I'm painting this, I know it sounds a little bit... Um, maybe redundant if you guys have seen my past videos but i think it's very important that when you are painting a section black or you want to create anything that's black that you don't do it in true black what is true black 
this right here like this is what you guys are seeing on screen this is true black right so zero 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 that is something that you guys don't want because um if you print it out or if you have it on screen it doesn't look as interesting as it does as an off white right so or an off black so never never choose true black or true white because that can make your image not look as interesting or uh, as it can distract a lot of attention from other colors and from other parts of the space right so i'm just, I'm just gonna finish this i'm gonna speed this up a little bit So I have my section painted and as you guys can see, it's pretty, pretty basic. It's pretty simple. Uh, some, if you did notice my background, it's also off white. So if I you know, check it right here, as you guys can see, it's a little bit below the true white. So it just looks a lot more, it's more interesting and the colors aren't as intense as if it was true black or true white. Now what I want to do, I have this right now. Now what I want to do is put in some people and some trees. This is gonna be very, very simple. So I have my section in one layer. Now I'm gonna create a new layer and start placing people. Since this isn't going to be you know, a very, very big format, I'm just gonna you know, place, uh, place people like very, very fast. So I'm gonna go over to my people brushes. I think the majority of you guys have them by now. Just in case you don't know, I have uh, brushes of people of trees and they're all for free so if you're interested then i think go to gum road page i think it's it's right there uh, i have the person right here i have some people and if you don't remember you can uh, make your si your brush size bigger or smaller by pressing alt and dragging your your right click to the left or the right Okay, so as you guys can see, I have my people now. They give start to give a lot of life to this building. And uh, finally, I'm just gonna put some, maybe some birds and some trees. So let's look for our tree brushes. Uh, I think they're over here somewhere. I want to place like, I'm going to put some very, very simple trees, not very elaborate like this brush. You know, we don't, I don't want this right now. And it's not the type of image we want. I want some very simple tree like these trees would be very interesting because they're just circle trees it's very conceptual maybe like this i like this a lot also if you guys want to i mean this is my type of section that i'm doing right now but if you guys want to do a more elaborate you know real three real trees uh, maybe something that's much much realistic you can do it as well it's just that for the style that i want for this image i don't want uh realistic trees now so i just messed up because I remember that this has to be on a different layer so I'm going to just select these with the marquee tool very quickly and I'm gonna press Control shift J now what that does is that creates a new layer and it separates uh, what I have selected from the other selection just in case you guys didn't know so I have my trees I have my people now what I want to do is I want to place the program this is a very very famous kind of section the program section where you get these this kind of text so let me just type in some program ideas so media go on over to character I select a nice font maybe like Helvetica and I put it where the media space is, which is right here. And obviously you also want a color palette for this. So maybe all the media space, I want it to be uh, in blues, right? In a blue mode, but this obviously is too dark. Maybe I want it kind of like this. And this process, we want to repeat it for all of our program space that you can see in this section. So I'm just gonna speed this up, but this is basically the same process. So I have, uh, you know, the main program right here. Now, one of the keys to this is to obviously, you know, you have to drag it where your classrooms are going to be or where the program is going to be. But you also want to make it different in size, right? So in the size is going to also uh, determine like the hierarchy or the importance of each space in this section. So, for example, the garden one the garden text is going to be very big because it's an interior garden the library one is maybe going to be 
kind of a medium size. Circulation, since it's repeated a lot, it's gonna be a, a, a lot smaller, but it doesn't mean that it's less important, but it's just gonna be a lot smaller. So I'm gonna put circulation here, circulation over there. I'm gonna create another one that's called hall. You can get creative with this in some one, in some of these. It looks interesting if you guys make it bigger. So you guys can do this kind of stuff. Uh, you can also duplicate, duplicate it if that's you know that's the idea. And you could also start varying the opacity of these, right? So maybe if you put all of these in a layer, so I can grab all of my text and put this in a group and I can just start to lower the opacity. It won't be as strong or maybe you want it to be strong. I don't know. So you can do this option or you can also, you know, color colorize it, add an adjustment layer, apply it over here with the alt key, then press on colorize and start colorizing it, right? That can also be an option. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to import this into Photoshop and to After Effects. So uh, what, we want, what we want to do is save this file, obviously. Go to save as and save it as a Photoshop file. And now I'm going to open After Effects. I have it open here and I'm going to create on new, I'm going to click on new project and I'm going to click on new composition. And since this is a video, you want it to be a specific video format. If you want it for maybe Instagram, then I recommend uh, maybe a square format, which can be 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. And you want to select a time, you know, how much this animation is going to last. I think 10 seconds or five seconds is just perfect. And we're going to press OK. We're going to have this right here and we're going to go and look for our Photoshop file. And I'm going to import my Photoshop file into After Effects. And it's going to give me two options if you want it, if, you, if I want it to be in editable layer styles. And I'm going to say yes. OK, so I'm going to drag this composition on to my, uh, you know, this layer panel over here and i'm gonna see you know something very similar as to photoshop what we see in photoshop and i'm just gonna size it down as you see if, if i don't press shift it's gonna you know size it down as and, and modify it and maybe damage it so i'm just gonna press shift and size it down just like this now as you, for those of you that don't know after effects this is a timeline and this is like a layer panel very similar to photoshop so i'm gonna open this up and as you guys can see in this layer panel i have the same layers I put in Photoshop. So, so let's say I want to animate my trees. So let's go to trees right here and I want them to drop from the sky and then just rest over here. So I'm going to go to the three second mark and I'm going to press on P for position and then I'm going to click on this time watch right here and that is where I want it to end. But if I go to the end to beginning, you know, drag this to the beginning, I'm just going to uh, drag these numbers of the position up right so i can you know drag this up or i can modify it through here and if i go and press play that's how it looks it looks a little bit boring right it looks a little bit a little bit slow so i have my time frames right here i can drag these time frames and i can make the time you know much much shorter without having to modify anything else so if i press play play again it's gonna drop on very quickly. So I'm gonna go over here, maybe drag these two. I know that this is the start and this one is the end. And I'm just gonna press play and it's gonna drop. Now the people, I want it to be backwards, right? I want it to go, to go from the bottom to the, from the earth up, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, going to go to my people layer and I am going to, um, again, press P for position, click on the time watch and drag them down. I'm just gonna drag them down right here. Then I'm going to go one second after and then I'm gonna drag them up. You guys can zoom in over here to see you know, where they're supposed to be. And they're supposed to be right here. So if I press play, the trees drop and the people go up. And if you want to export this, we're just gonna go to composition, um, add to render queue. Then we are gonna select over here where we want it to be and let's say i want it to be right here 
want to name it animated section and I'm gonna click on render okay so I'm gonna show you guys the result uh, with the project that we made here like very very fast obviously this is, was a very simple one I did another one which I invested a little bit more time in and maybe some of you guys have already seen it on my Instagram page and I added some text added a helicopter I turned the opacity on of the different programs or the different parts of the building but this was done with the same principles of moving of hiding everything right so it's nothing out of this world it's very very simple and it's something that i think is very very interesting uh, when presenting our project online which is something like that we do much more often right now so if you guys want to have access to this photoshop and after effects file then you can go to our Patreon page. It will be uploaded right there. And thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.